Uh, I'm Robert Isley. I'm from Savannah. Um, a couple of my paintings, like those on the wall right there, the pumpkins and the, the palm trees, those are mine. These are a couple up here. Uh, Tim, this is one of Tim's, and all those on the floor there are Tim, and the ones on the wall over there. Um, just so you can see what they do. Um, how many people here are painters? Are most people? Most people? <laughs> um, I was going to say a few things about, about the palette um, and how I, how I arrange my palette. I know when I was in school, uh, in art school, I asked the teacher, I said, well, what do you do? how do you put the colors down? How do, what, how do you organize that? And they said, just put them down anywhere you want. And, and that just never made sense to me, that you would just it would be that haphazard. Um, and I had a friend that had a, a pamphlet, I think that was written in the 30s. And it was by, um, I think his name was Fletcher, uh, I his name, um, Morton Fletcher. I think he was a printmaker, but he was also a painter. And he, he wrote a book called Palette Control. And I always thought the way he organized the palette was very interesting, and that's sort of the way I got it. So I was going to talk about that. It might, might help you with your painting, maybe. Um, but this is what he did. I mean, in, in most cases, uh, you've got a color wheel. You've got 12 points in the color wheel. Um, if you just use yellow, red, and blue, you can make all the other colors. Those are the primary colors. Um, so with just those three colors, you can, you can, you can do the rainbow. Um, I mean, some of the, the newer colors are going to be more intense if you get, if there's some oranges, or, or there may be some, let me see, there may be some greens that would be more intense than you can actually get by mixing yellow and blue, but, but for the most part, you can do anything you need with those three colors. But he said that using just those three colors, it was a static triangle, it's an equilateral triangle. And he thought there was a way, and he, he compared it to music, the scales of music and, and rhythm. He said there's got to be another way to organize the color. And the other problem he saw was that, he said with all the colors that are available now, you can't possibly lay them all out of the palette. I mean, you, you would just have a mix, it would be too many colors. So he said, there's got to be a way to limit the number of colors you use, but not limit what you can do with them. Uh, um, one way to, you could simplify a palette and just use earth tones, and that would be a way to unify the palette. But he said, there's got to be a way to use all the colors that are available now, but, but have it organized. So what he came up with, and I don't know if this is what he came up with, but this is what he wrote about. Um, he said, let's find another triangle within that color wheel that, that will encompass as much of the color wheel as you can get, but not be that static triangle. So he came up with this one. Instead of going, if you went red to yellow is one, two, three, four, and then to blue is four, and then back to red is four. He said, let's vary that. Now, instead of four, 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 let's do something different. What, can, what kind of triangle can we have that has the most variety? And he came up with one that was six, three, and four. So he said, let's use that as our main triangle because it's got the most variety you can get in a triangle and it also encompasses a good bit of the color. And this is a palette I use a lot. It's, it's got violet, orange, yellow, and green. Uh, so if you use that, you put those colors down. And this, is, this would be an example of that. You've got the yellow, orange, violet, and green. That's your main triangle. And that's going to be the triangle you're going to do most of your mixing from. That's going to be the, the, the governing triangle you're going to use to do the painting. And that can, by, by turning this, you can vary that triangle um, 12 different ways on this side. And then if you flip that over, you've got 12 other ways on the other side. So this one would be blue, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Um, red, yellow, green, green, blue. So you've got, and each one of those triangles is going to give you a different look. Uh, the mixtures you make in between that, every one of those triangles has got its own character. Um, but you want to start with those three, three colors. And then he said, if we start with those three, and then how can we, how do we expand that? And the next point you'd expand it would be.